Hey guys and girls, my name is Snowy and welcome to part 11 of Tampere City here in City Skylines 2. Yo, in the previous episode uh, we built up this uh, area over here to accommodate more people in this area, more residentials and maybe you are noticing something. Yes, I've been playing around a little bit with the coloring mod to get rid of the dull colors of many of these buildings and that's a mod you can uh, download a paradox mods and uh, yeah so i can show you by the way which mod it is that's the re recolor mod it's the recolor mod this one and you activate it by shift p so it works very uh, very easy you know if you sick and tired of let's say a certain amount of buildings i, I did not get them all for example let's say here no where let me see uh, I did uh, go to several places, even this in this industry area, let's say you think like, well, these buildings are too grey to my taste. You press Shift P and you select the color you want, for example, no, let, let me make those buildings more yellowish, for example, goldish, like that, like that. You can just click on that building and voila, the, the building colors are changing to that value that you choose. You can only do one color at a time as far as I know, but you can just go around and just click any building you like. And so you can recolor objects. So that's pretty nice. Okay, um, what we are going to do, we are going to utilize this train line over here. Because this train line goes around here, like that, into that direction, around the garbage belt. Like here in this crunky little way, around there, 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 through this thing. And back to this station over here and uh, what I want here is a passenger combination a passenger train with also a university yes we are definitely not done yet with all the residential demand because that demand is never ending but nevertheless I want to have like a train station over here you know close to everything and uh, yeah let's just see what we can do first of all we're going into the section of the train so what kind of train station do we want so, so this is like the regular train station yeah we also have medium versions yeah small and a rail yard with the, i think the medium train station i think also used it um, further uh, i also used it there as well the medium version I think that would not be bad. So if I hold it here like that, oh, then it slides that way. Okay, hold it here. Yeah. Uh, no. How about this? And then go that way. Yeah. Then probably no. It does not stay right. Uh, let's see. I want it here. Then go there. Then go a little bit there. A little bit back there, 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 and then poof. I think I can live with that. So let's pause the game for a hot moment and bulldoze this section away, this section away, this section away, and this section away, yeah. Even this section, and then we are going to apply a new train part over there, uh, which is then this one. And then we line it up here. Yeah, that's also fine. They it only requires a road. Okay, before I activate that, I want to have like a university as well. So we're going to the schooling area. And let's see university. Do we do have the money again? I let the game run for a while. Um, urban high school, college, university. This thing is the only univer is this that the only university we have? We don't what's under here uh, research facilities no let me see small elementary school elementary school technical university let me see if I can unlock something here within the schooling part technical and medical university I can unlock those like that yeah I don't think it will change anything because the these are more yeah they these are medical related these is technical related and this is just university cost 1.5 million but this building is a lot bigger than I thought and you know 
it does fit barely here yeah, let's give it the benefit of the doubt you know it's very close to the train station let's see also requires a road connection here okay let's see what we can do so we're grabbing this road and I think we can squeeze it through here with a little bit of anarchy like that and then let's see where we're going to hook this on we can take this road up to there yeah, a little bit further like that and do we take the road from here let's try this again yeah, that looks better. This thing is still moaning about a connection. This thing needs a connection as well. So let me give it a connection. Here we go. You have a connection, maybe because I'm still in pause mode. Most, the most likely cause. And to be honest, I, I have the feeling it's not straight. And is it straight? Ninety degrees. I don't. Mm -hmm. This is straight. Yeah, it's it's not hundred percent straight. Oh, I cannot stand it. You know. Uh, give me a moment to fix this. I'll be right back. Okay then. So that is fixed. I uh, moved it uh, a little bit around. Uh, also moved the rail track around and connected this to this road. So I know that this is straight and also redid this and connected actually also this road to here because you know why not uh let's make a line here you know between this train station and the other one yeah because you know we have finally now a option to do so so not that passenger railway line tour. okay so we make it from here create a new starting route that goes do -do 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 all around through this area and then to this station over here click and then go back to here I would say complete group and now we have uh, let me have a look train we have now which is not train I need to select another color here let's make this a little bit more red so I can see which one is which if I could see a line over here by the way I cannot even see a line this is train lines right yeah oh now I see it okay yeah it's red and okay what is this thing complaining about no vehicles there are no vehicles available they should be what are you doing here cargo train I don't like it you know cargo trains this thing should now be spawning more vehicles three yeah so eventually there should be vehicles on this line so we only have need to wait so what are you complaining about you are being burned down no way yeah, okay then we delete you uh, this one here we go fixed you go there let's also remove the parking ability for all these guys on this road here we go so they park on that parking lot yeah and also the same kind of here yeah so they have to park on the parking lot okay so this thing is still complaining about no vehicles I don't know if it, mm, what kind of train is that? It's a little cargo vehicle. Let me see, what what did I miss? Did I miss something? Um car uh let's see. Public transport trains. Train line two. One vehicle. Okay, I assigned one vehicle. Also, the rail yard says it spawns three vehicles, so that makes sense. So that that train should be on route somewhere. Is that it? Is that the train? There's also a cargo train. It's 
so the question is where is this what kind of that's a passenger train where are you going to returning to rail yard I still don't know yeah there's a okay the public public transport and that one passenger train boarding destination small station <laughs> let me see uh, this is no these are two right yeah um this this station should re should receive um, a train, basically. Um, I'm a little bit confused. Why does it not receive any train? The line is there. I am a little bit. Here, yeah, the line is there. There's nothing on it. Uh, lines passengers waiting lines one wait a second that line is connected right through this thing yeah it is so why does this thing not spawn then that um, it says vehicles in use three but where are those vehicles can no I cannot see that here it is let's see on route on route on route And if I click on the first line, which is, uh, I wish this thing was less transparent, passenger trains, we have two vehicles over here. Uh, I see one there. This is yellow line, this one. Oh yeah, the other one is there. Yeah. And if we look at train line number 02, which is then this one then I see that there is no train there is a train there here passenger train click on it can I go to it so either it's now close by here is it this one passenger train You know what I don't like is the combination of uh, the cargo and the passenger train lines. That is something, yeah, something we definitely need to address. Um, hmm. Let me think about it. Okay, guys and girls, um, I'm back. I um, did a lot of changes. I think personally that the other train stations that we have somehow they they support also cargoes but i'm not sure i point down the regular train station here and also over here i changed uh, quite a bit i moved uh, the train station that was originally here all the way to here because this thing will not fit over here and then created uh, the train lines also at the going through the rail yard I disconnected uh, this cargo thing because this thing is going nowhere this is basically only a cargo harbor for the time being and there is no other cargo station in the city available so mm, connecting it up to any yeah other station makes no sense now why this thing is still blinking uh, I don't know I mean the oh, the train uh, the trains are coming no vehicles yeah now it disappears now it blinks again so I don't know I mean um, according to the statistics uh, we have train two train lines now running like this I also ch change these uh, transparencies now on train line two there are still two trains missing maybe it's the budget a budget thing that is possible services let's see um, transportation ah I think maybe here's the culprit because it's only 50% let me bring this back to 100% transportation let's see what happens then 
So we have two lines. Now there, ah, now the trains are there. Nice, finally. Okay, let's uh, induce a little bit of parking over here because uh, we are, you know, missing a lot of parking. Um, let's see, this this parking, no. We could use these kind of roads, these big roads. Is that something we want to have around here? It's kind of interesting to have. So, you know, why not? We can always make like a... Um, let me go above ground. We can always make a connection. Here, ta -da, like that, and then use the um, pavement path to make a connection to the other side. Uh, let's see, maybe even under here. Let me have a look here. Yeah, we can go under there if we want to. So, going from let me turn off the snapping from here, like that, to there, and then under here. To there, then to there. Yep, and then we can even bring this all the way even to there and even make using a crossing there as well. Yeah. So they can walk now. Is this even connected? Does not appear connected. Um, let's see. Nope, it does not appear connected, so let me redo this section. Uh, let me select it first. Let's make a little bit here. And delete this part. Select it again. And then make a nice arch, like this. Yep. Then it's connected. With a little bit of a bend. They can go now park here, and I can change these roads. Change them up to no parking over here. Don't want that. No parking over there, park here. Like that. And they also park here. We also don't want them to do that either. Yeah, that's fine. So these guys are now working. So that was it was a budgetary issue issue, an issue. And the same I think I'm going to do with services when it comes down to the healthcare and death care mm, healthcare, yeah. So we bring that up to, let's say, 80% and let's see if that covers uh, a little bit. We don't want to lose too much money. Uh, yeah, so we have this parking ability now right here. People can walk through here from there to there, so that's fine. I also want them to have the ability to walk all the way from, yeah, let's say this park. Part, I mean. So I'm selecting this button. And we're taking a nice curve over there. Bring it all the way up to there. And then we need to get over this road. That is no problem. Like, let's get a little bit closer, like that. Bring it to 6.2. Up to the other side. And then bring it down again. Like that. And from here we can connect straight up to there. Yep, that's like a, a direct walking path, of, you know, that they can use. Walking all the way from there to there to there to there. It's a little bit of a long end, but um, that will do. Now let's check out this station over here and also the parking ability over here. Now, parking, you know, it's kind of interesting, you know, the parking stuff. Uh, parking, especially with these big roads, you know, you can just say like, because this is a... Um, because it's a university and we have a road direct next to it. Can we click this away please? Thank you. We can just basically put like the whole parking bash, next to it. Problem solved. Yeah. And at the same time we disallow parking to be happening over here. And then we also have to get our students basically also there as well. No parking, no, 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 stop parking over there, park here, you know, and then the students who are living basically over there, they need to be able to get here, so we can use a alley road, an alley road, for example, like this, and we hook it up to here, bring it around, like so, and here we do the same thing, and actually that works looks a little bit 
hideous, but I see a lot of people walking here, so that also I think it would do great to make like a bridge coming from here. Yeah. Page it up to 6.2, which is enough. Bring it to the other side. Yep, like that. And then curve that around. Something like this. It's 6.25, so we lower it to 3.75. And then from there, we lower it to 0. How does that look? Not too shabby. Yeah. Okay, they're also walking here on the other side. So here I'm going to make a very small connection, including yeah, the crossing there. Small crossing, but hey ho, it's working. Like that. Also here, a pedestrian path, although there's nothing there yet. And so we are getting somewhere, you know, uh, it's like um, I've been monkeying around with this uh, with the trains uh, for like ages actually The real reason was because the budget I think but also Seeing those cargo trains that somehow it eluded me It was like what are these cargo trains doing at these regular train stations and also when it's time to have like a cargo station which I do have by the way you know cargo train station a big boy and I want to connect it to this cargo harbor then it will have a separate rail yard so that will all be separated and if possible I also want uh, these lines to be also separate to go into the outside world but for that we need a lot more tiles so for the time being, training to the outside world, well, I mean, if we look at the map, I think the edge of the map here is closest, so, yeah. But anyway, resume. Now, let me put in a little time lapse that we're going to add a little bit more stuff over here, a little bit more, you know, houses and buildings and parks and whatnot, the whole thing and uh, I would say like sit back relax and enjoy
Well then, I think uh, we expanded the city pretty well in this area. Um, as you can see, it's a variety of all kinds of buildings, from lower buildings here uh, on the front section to some what of the row houses on, on here with parking ability over here. I still have to disable the parking on these streets as well. With some higher ele elevated houses over here, some pa uh, parks over here, then we have like these you know these are only too deep you know these um, um, housing with shops underneath them but still they are pretty high and actually if I would say like do I like them to be honest you know not really you know I cannot put my finger to it those things are pretty high I mean for the for the size of the road maybe it's also the shadow you know if you get closer maybe you know it looks a lot different I don't know. Shadows can always cast like a weird effect on uh, the situation, but I mean, yeah, there are also a lot of cars here, as you can see. Uh, did not do any recoloring so far. Can still do. Uh, we have some big offices over here, which is fine. I mean, they don't they don't cause any traffic. At this junction, I placed like. A an overcrossing um, so they can get from all sides to all sides is that correct what I'm saying because I don't think they are able to get then to this side because you're going from here to there yeah that's not possible Ooh, that's a that's not a good thing shall we uh, that's a bad thing so let's get out of here and that's the wrong button T this one so basically we have to bring this down from six point in a bit like so to zero meters like that and then I cannot see the darn thing because this building is in my way so let me put it there yeah now I can see it so they can also get to there and they also need to be able to get to there it's a little bit tricky because we have a building here in our way. Um, well, you know what? Let's just anarchy around it and we will figure out what to do with it. Let's say this. How much? Oh, the minus two and a half. Two and a half. And then here to zero. Like so. And then let's remove that, uh, yeah, this this building. Gzoink, so you go away. And this thing is not proper. Let's put that aside and let's fix this. Go to 6.75. Make a curve here, make it go down slightly. Make it go down even further. And then go around here and then bring it to zero that should do it yeah now people can go in all directions so yeah slight mistake but okay I mean it will do and uh, there are a lot of paths uh, etc I mean there's so many stuff you can still put in there and um, the trains are doing well also I don't see any cargo trains anymore on this line as far as I have seen I have seen no cargo you know, trains anymore and uh, yeah cargo trains will be uh, an, an issue once I have connected uh, these tiles up to the edge of the map we will create an extra train line dedicated for cargo only so we have like a train coming in so this is also a passenger train if I'm not mistaken yeah that comes just from yep from outside of the city perfect and uh, yeah, we want to uh, keep it uh, going that way. And uh, we are having now 36,000 people. And the uh, Tampere City is, uh, is growing. And uh, yeah, I like it. I like it really much uh, so far. So it has been a lot of work uh, doing this. And yeah, to get uh, everything you know, also working. Also with the train lines and whatnot. And then I think off screen I will fill up more of these areas with just more residential. I mean, that's just a matter of zoning and doing some decorations and whatnot. And then we have to take a you know serious look into the uh, cargo aspect of uh, getting you know 
things out using trains um, yeah yeah I think probably through here but I don't know if the well the money is going up uh, so you know if we buy tiles up to the edge who knows who knows so uh, yeah I leave it at that so uh, guys and girls thank you for uh, being that patient and uh, yeah basically uh, you know go with me with on this big adventure anyway if you want to see episode 12 feel free to hit the thumbs up button the subscribe and of course the bell icon and you will be notified until the next episode comes out okay guys and girls i will see you the next time see you bye bye <laughs>